Hello, Super Cheese. Welcome. Will I secure the Mandate of Heaven? Mm, maybe eventually. I'm not familiar with the campaign, but I do imagine that would be one of the things you need to do. This uh, hero of China, after all. Hello, Karyu. Welcome. The real question is, is this gonna appear like this more than Pharaoh? Do you remember my... Uh, taking a look at Pharaoh? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, it is still probably gonna make me wish I was playing Caesar. But I think this game should actually have some quality of life things that Augustus adds to Caesar. So maybe it's not, a, not gonna be too bad. Start new campaign and remember not to increase difficulty until after first tutorial mission. Okay. Crime rate spikes up before you unlock any crime fighting. Yeah. Okay. Sounds lower. <coughs> I'll just shift this into the background here. So otherwise, I would have trouble seeing. Oh, you should be fine. Uh, can you let me know when the counter runs to zero? I think it's uh, in about a minute and 20 seconds. This uh, display is super jank by the way. It's just in the dead center of my screen. And it's not like a window, so I cannot resize it or even like shift it around that's gonna be real tiny for me which is probably not gonna add much enjoyment I think there might be a screen fix might I might be able to get before next time maybe but for now we'll stick with this keep the sentiment high Yeah, I think a lot of things are gonna be very different from Caesar. I also think that there are multiple campaigns, so we're gonna have to figure out how much I can take. Don't need any crime fighting for the entire game. I guess if you manage your sentiment very well, might be the case. Any counter is done, right? Yeah, remove it. Ah, uh, okay. So this is our name, and I guess we choose the rare animal. Does it matter? Really? I I'm not sure. What does it even mean? What should we choose even? Ah. Uh, minimal impact. Well. Ah. Uh, is my real I don't know my real what? I don't know two things about Chinese things. Are there 12 of them? Yes. Right, so it's like... 
I'm in 1993. I was born in 1993. A year after. Is that still monkey? A rooster. Okay. Uh, fine. Let's start. I'm gonna do the Shia Dynasty, the tutorial. Welcome to ancient China, home to the world's oldest continuous civilization. You are about to travel back in time over 4,000 years, for it was then along the fertile banks of the Wei River that several families banded together, discarded their nomads' cloaks, and established a small settlement. As village elder, it is your duty to plan the layout of this new settlement. You will be called upon to provide your people with food and water, as well as a means to slake their spiritual thirst. Alright. Uh, also, I think in this game, you actually, like when you beat a mission, you sometimes will continue with the settlement you built. So, you're gonna have to be kind of careful about what we do, I guess. Because it sounds really bad. Alright, so let's keep it on hard initially. Go to the city. Call it on sustenance in a shelter. So basic housing plots need to be placed by road. Wouldn't be too bad. Road access. I think this is straightforward. As is easier. Don't think it's necessary to read this, right? Uh, trust. Uh, so there are valves and I send out a guy with buckets. So it's like in Pharaoh instead of the coverage as in Caesar. I'm not fan of that. Uh, pausing. Uh, you can pause with Viki. Okay. Fire prevention. You can build. How is it called? Inspector Star? Yeah. So, yeah and also, when we build things. Yeah. Why is there no music now? Well, I guess we will have it once we start. Yeah, so when you build things, you need to build them in the sanctuary. So. That would be this green thing. If it's yellow, it's gonna impact negatively on the feng shui of the entire settlement, which is like a global happiness for how the buildings are placed. If they are placed within their natural surroundings. Some buildings don't like rocks, some of them do. Some of them like hills, whatever. So you have to figure out figure out how to place them properly. Okay, undo action clear road network. Yeah, we don't want the sections. Roadblocks. We have roadblocks, that's good. Hunting season, so we can build hunters, which will hunt animals like in Pharaoh, bring them back, and that will produce food. It's not like in Caesar where the cycle is almost the, uh, always the same. They actually send out a guy that has to go to an animal and then bring them back. Uh, milling around. We need a mill, yeah, right? and this, these are just like they try to be funny or whatever. This is the mill structure, it's like a granary in Caesar. You can only stockpile a certain amount of stuff in it, and then you need to build a market. And the square itself needs to be placed, and then you place individual, uh, individual market stalls in it, I think. And that will affect what gets distributed. And the square actually has a road coming through it. Then higher object, uh, objectives of the mission, right? Let's plan cottages. Ask the ancestors. What is this? Yeah, we need to build an ancestral shrine. So this is the first spiritual building. I think in this game the spiritual stuff is gonna be a real pain. Since I don't think many people actually like how the game does things with you having to appease multiple deities on a regular basis by giving them stuff. Uh, let me go into the music. I think, or actually, I can lower it just for myself. I think you guys should be good with the sounds. 
unfortunately a bit manual uh, it is a lot manual I think I'm gonna absolutely hate its guts uh, okay immediately I would definitely like this to be larger I, it's really tiny for me can I do it I don't think so display options I'll try to go full screen maybe it's gonna work uh bugging out second oh I'm in full screen mode now so I'll have to switch chat on my iPhone unfortunately just give me a sec uh that is it I don't think I can auto tap right now, so that could probably crash my game. I think. Now I should be able to see chat. It's gonna be a little awkward. All right, so we have common housing. Agriculture, which is to understand, right? Industry, there is nothing in it. Commerce, shops, common markets, mills, bell, inspector's tower is in safety. Then we have a religion, right? Monuments, this is a road building. Road blocks and clear tool. This will get rid of forest. And I need to figure out if I want my housing to be like this. I think we might want it slightly larger. So what we'll do is probably expand this. Also houses in this game are I think slightly larger than we are used to. They are that's two by two. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to work around that and eventually there will be also residential walls. They're gonna have to Work with that as well. I think we should build our settlement right here, which leaving space behind the houses. But I'd have to calculate it so that it will be three tiles like this. I want another one. Yeah. Then go like this. I don't know if there are any downsides to building like this. I guess you'll find out. Clean this up. I'm gonna be a little slow and at the start I really do not have much recollection about this game at all. Only remember the bad things. Or the things that were bugging me specifically. Right, and we will end it somewhere over here. Connect that up, but I don't want to just redesign this whole thing, I think. Also, this is our money population. This is it is zodiac animal, and there is a date. Yeah, right. Yeah, we want that, and I probably want to figure out houses over here, and then according to that, we would actually like cut it back around. This should be reasonably sized, right? We're gonna want to make a tile in the middle, three, I think. Then just put up around like this. Can I look this off?
We're gonna start with some housing. This should be plenty. We're gonna build for them. Uh, rest well, right? Where to? Well, likes to be in a fertile place. So I guess you build it somewhere here. Inspector Star wants to be around rocks, I think, so we can have it here. And the Ancestral Shrine wants to be on a fertile or the green land. We're gonna place it somewhere over here. And then maybe a little bit of regular housing. Doesn't want to be there. Okay, let's keep it like this and see what happens. So let's unpause the game. Uh, employees needed, right? We are gonna get people coming in from here. These are the immigrants, I think. Can we use pizza things? What is it on? 90, that's uh, quite a bit. I think you should keep it on 80. There is a pheasant. I think it's a pheasant, right? Yeah. We are gonna want to get some food. I mean, set up hunters. They want to be on the green things, I suppose. Yeah, but probably would be a good idea to redesign this, I think. So eventually, we would want to use this ramp, I think. But for now, it would be great if we could just build like that. And even stretch it like that. But look this. I'm gonna build. And it's actually bad, thank you. I think it's not that big of a deal initially, but eventually we would want to build them properly. Alright, so let's get three of those. We are gonna get Inspector's Tower. Is gonna go right here. And we will need a mill, which is like a granary. But we would want it. Uh, I guess I actually should like properly check where I would want it. Would have had it here, I think. Population milestone 100 people. Okay. Mm, is that a best place for it? I guess we could have it here. And then a market square. So we will build ourselves a market square. I guess right here. Then we'll do a food shop right there. Should basically cover our. Objectives. Isn't this good eating? They don't need expected tower. The hunters? Do they not? Well, it's very strange. Uh, can I see safety? Hazards. But is it because the guy. No. Yeah, I think you are right, actually. So can we just disable it? Yes. Okay. I also should turn back the speed even more. I think it's still a bit fast for my taste. Now it should be like a regular speed. At least I think so. So these are... Huts. They have 14 occupants. They can have... Wood. Hemp and ceramics. Hey Dennis, welcome. Hunters do not need inspection. Yeah, yeah, Super Cheese did mention that, so now we have this tower shut off. So, still learning. You're gonna see how the game holds up compared to, for example, Caesar with Augustus. Definitely gonna play a bit of it since uh, it's a long play, so I cannot just chicken out even if I don't like it. So I guess now you are not gonna be the only person playing this. <laughs> but eventually I'm gonna move on and yeah, we'll see. 
I've played a little bit of this, but it is ages ago and I don't remember much. I'm gonna slap in some extra houses. Also check the risks. I think this loop might be slightly too long for some good. In post game and still place buildings while paused. That's good. Mel might be in danger as bank not reaching. Yeah, that's what I thought. This building is severely damaged. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna have to build another inspector. I'd like to have him near Feng Shui, but I think at this point it's not really that important as we talked about that already. So we'll just slap him down somewhere over here and not worry about that. We also would like a few more houses, I think. Gonna do a few here. So this should distribute, yeah. This art quality we can keep it on that, but now we actually have some food in it, so the market lady should distribute it. I'm not sure how much each hunter produces, I guess it's very much dependent on how quickly they can actually reach the animal and then come back, which is a feature I'm not a big fan of. Yeah, that's what I noticed here, it's just there are no rocks around here. Yeah, the Feng Shui, I know what that is. Okay, so now we get some plant cottages. If they got food, they evolved. I guess we might actually want... Uh... Cut this area off a little bit, just redesign this whole neighborhood like this, and then we can cut this. I think we could just then place stuff here if we don't want some infrastructure or whatever, and then keep this as a housing thing, which means we will roadblock it. While this probably should be fine with one inspector now. I also have my chat on the phone, so it's terrible for me to read everything, so if you write a lot, uh, please just type in necessary things or talk amongst each other, but I'm not gonna read absolutely everything it's, if it's a wall of text. I'm gonna try it, and if I have to bash my head against the wall, I'm gonna do it, and if I hate the game because of it, it's fine. Oh, I think it's definitely unreliable. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's the same with Pharaoh. That's why I don't like the production cycles in Sierra games uh, working like that, I much rather prefer Caesar way of producing resources. Yeah, you have to keep them at the animal's uh, spawn point. I'm not sure where the pheasant's spawn point is, I guess it's somewhere over here. Since the pheasants are wandering around here. We could probably watch the animals to watch them where they like spawn or anything. It's a lot of land for farming. Yeah, I think I remember the farms being quite chunky. Also, the food does not really look like it's holding up too well, so I guess we'll just add another hunter. So, what are our other objectives? Uh, is there an objective thing? Oh, we won. Okay. You have successfully built a small village and fed them well on meat provided by the hunters. Nine delusion pharaoh. Yeah, that's good. I think that's an improvement. Pharaoh in general, uh, that game is not for me. I absolutely hate it. Welcome back to the village of Banpol. Several generations have passed, and the village that your people founded along the banks of the Wei River has prospered. There is a renewed sense of excitement in the town today. Word has just arrived of a nutritious new food source, millet. As a highly respected village elder, you are needed to plan the establishment of farms where millet can be grown to supplement the diet. 
It also increased the difficulty now, I think. The fibers from the hemp plant have many uses, not the least of which is for durable garments. Under bottom on the right side. Five buttons, left most uh, is the objective screen. Okay. Good city. So we are having the same map as we built last time. I think we don't need to necessarily read this. Yeah, there are ramps. They're like stairs in Caesar, but they are actually like one tile. Which is good. Down on the farm. The farm needs to be placed on a low ground then, I guess. You build a farm sort of in the center of the fields or, or of the farmland so they can actually build fields. I think you need to do that actually. Another type of farm, hemp farm, yeah that's the other good you can get. Warehouse, okay. Hemp stall, repair. You can get orders into the warehouses. Might be a crime problem, yeah, we'll see. Plan for plan. Yeah, we also that option. Now we have decorations. Okay, I need to pause the game. And let's take a look at this. So we are gonna want to... I think this capacity is 32, right? So we are gonna want to set this to something like 8. Well, this is gonna accept 24 millet. And we are gonna want to start building a farm. So let's take a look. We have a farmhouse. So this would be the millet one. I'm gonna need to build it somewhere over here. I guess this is a fairly reasonable place. Okay, let's go back. Let's build crops. How does this work? Built on a cleared land. Is it not cleared up? No, it isn't. Maybe we need to first connect it to its employee people and then we can explore. Also not sure if the farms can uh, collapse or not. Need to add pause for a second to register it. Alright. You know it should be fine I think. Do it once. Uh, probably the maximum amount of fields. Gonna want to have farm as well. I guess that can be here. I'm gonna unpause to know uh, for it to notice it. We also should place our gardens. Fields over here. Not placed perfectly, could have placed it a little better. And then we need a warehouse. Also, I'm not sure. Housing for more people, we do have that. New cameras. Can I see my unemployed people? No employment problems? That's very vague. I need to know cold hard numbers. Farms do not need inspection. Let's get no industry type shows that. Ah, I don't have it. Okay, fine. 
I guess that's fine. Also, since the hunters do not need inspection, I think we could build them over here just because the pheasants seem to be all spawning in here. But then we would probably have to set up getting. Uh, I don't want to do that at all. Yeah, I'll just keep them here and hopefully it's gonna be enough. Eventually we'll move on from this map, I think. A bit weird like that. Yeah, I guess it's like similar to Caesar. Uh, the initial missions also unlock things gradually, so even the advices unlock actually after some time. Do we need more cottages? There is a lot of unrest in the city. Is it because of the crime? I think it's because of the unemployment, right? Yes, I think. They're gonna have to drop the difficulty again, if it is even possible. Might not be. Lack of goods. Alright, fire in the city. Mm. Is it because the inspector is not doing its job properly? All these people on the streets for lack of work makes mugging easy. <laughs> Having all these people on the Well it depends like what can you mug uh, an unemployed person for? Gonna have to build another inspector star. It got automatically replaced, I think. Beggar. We'll call them after they get some hands. Alright, uh, and I also want the warehouse. Is it not in freaking industry? Where is it? Is it in this? Uh. I guess it is where the uh, mill was. Here, right? Yeah. We're gonna want the warehouse right here. Just... Okay, let's accept hemp in here. And we will need a shop for hemp. And this... Right. Minimum gold is bland. Desire is appetizing. Let's keep it on that. And commerce to vase. Yeah, right. Can we replace it? Uh, do we have to replace it by ourselves? I think I saw it replace itself before. And do, do uh, inspectors really not cover this? It's a bit confusing. I don't have the blue. How is it called? The uh, overlays, right? Loop is too large. What is this? What have I collect? Okay, now we have homeless. Yeah, so the farms are working, I suppose. Now we actually lack workers, so they are moving back in. The loop is too large, so this is too large to cover, even with two. It's horrible. They are so ineffective. Are they actually using the market as... Do they treat it as a roadblock? 
Ukraine. All these people on the streets for lack of work makes mugging easy. Maybe it just took some time. This one might have gone up as well a lot. Lavishing many gardens around them so upgraded buildings work better, I suppose. But I will have problems with other buildings as well. Then, if this is not cutting it, then uh, later we will struggle. I don't want to build it all the way around here, but I'll, I guess, I'll have to. I guess just a lot of gardens. I don't suppose there are any plazas or anything like that. Is it visually represented, the upgrade, or is it just a thing that happens? I guess it spawned too. Okay. So how many gardens do you need for that? There, is there a, like a set amount or do you need to just like figure it out everything's burning they are visually present also. okay So this is a dumpster fire of a loop, just so unstable. Okay, the warehouse burned down, inspector star burned down. I think I might as well just restart, since we, we need to get the difficulty lower as well. Pause the game. And I guess we'll cut this loop so we're gonna just make it like this instead let's remove that remove all that and pause and then we are gonna put down some extra houses but we are gonna have to fill in some gardens I think Alright, let's try to upgrade the inspector. Uh, also, we need to place the farms again, so let's do it. Farmhouse can go right here. Gonna have to connect it. Yeah, it might be possible. Mallet field. Get that going. And farm. Ah, bad. Undo. Should have placed it one tile further. Fine. Gonna build a warehouse for our hemp. Gonna enable this tower. And I guess we could build a few more houses here. This hit is an ineffective loop. I think. And if the farmers are lazy and not working, they'll be not standing in their field. Yeah. 
Let's accept the millet in here. Accept the meat. Just the edge. I'm gonna build ourselves the market stall. So how are we doing on workers? I have no idea, right? Short 11. That should be fixed very soon. Yeah, and then we are even gonna have unemployment, I think. And fairly big one, unfortunately. At least I think so. I think the tower now is upgraded, right? It looks different. This is just a shelter, this is like a small tent of Caesar. Then when they get water, I guess they will upgrade. Vels and guard towers can also upgrade like that, okay. So if you wanted to get the Vel to use two walkers, you could surround it with a whole bunch of desirability. Unfortunately the gardens are not really great. I guess after we unlock plaza it will get easier. I have to take a drink. It's a moment. Also, I think I messed up over here. It might be worth it to ship the marketplace back. Because I didn't leave one square cut off. So what we could do is remove this cottage. Salvage the throat. Gonna build it like this and then there. Probably block that off. I think that should be better. The trick is that Plaza in this game basically creates two or three tile wide streets. That are super, super desirable. So they went for it. They mentioned that in Caesar and it was always a terrible idea and they made it happen. Despicable. Okay. So I guess I'll have to make the hideous road. Preferably I would probably want the market to be like inside the loop somewhere instead of shutting off uh, into the side. Since I had to cut the loop it created this issue. Hmm. I hope that we are not sticking with the city for much longer but I guess uh, we are gonna be forced to. Market needs inspection. Okay. So, did we get any hemp yet? I don't think so. Do we have unemployment? Yes, 
and fairly big one. I guess we could... How is Millet doing actually? None of it is in here, okay. So what we are gonna do is get another hunter, then a farmhouse. Then I uh, have farm as well. They hinder each other. So five is too much. Right, let's do it over this one then. So now we are gonna have to wait a little bit. Yeah, they are bringing some stuff from the farms now. So the market should eventually get its hand. Yeah. Okay, some of these voice lines are new to me, so check out some people. At this time of history, maybe you are even right. The people have not been paying proper respect to their ancestors. Our city may suffer misfortune. Your favorite is the copper miner. We should have clicked on him once we get to that point. We get a farmer. So how's the unemployment doing now? 9%. Okay. I think that's acceptable. Go to rule is 100 pence per spawn point. So how many spawn, spawn points there are? Uh, now one appeared there. I guess we get like another one here. Maybe two there actually. If there are three, we, on, we have four of them. Okay. Well, the meat is super unreliable. Could have been better, I guess, if we had an access to here. And then build them hunters here, instead of here. It's fine, uh, as long as it's under 40%. Seems like it's quite generous. Compared to Augustus, at least. We do have a hemp now. What do they want? I think they want better food, right? Do they want Miller? Now they are bringing it, I think. So we could maybe switch into minimal plant food. There is no zoom, so we cannot zoom out or in. These buildings are as 
solid as Mount Tayshan. Yeah, now there are lines that we missed. I don't think so. The people have not been paying proper respect to their ancestors. Our city may suffer misfortune. Because she doesn't like that we only have one of these ancestral shrines. If you put minimal plant food, they won't gather food unless there are at least two types of food in the mill. Yeah, but there are now. So they should get it. I think. Because otherwise we would be stuck distributing meat, I think, right? Or am I missing something? Is this a market car? Peddler, right. Yeah, so the coverage for houses works like that. I see. So are they gonna get the stuff? I guess we'll have to switch back to plain food. It's confusing. I don't want them to s just sell meat or millet. I guess it's fine, as long as it brings the food into the market, it will immediately buff the carter, right? You can place a new food stall or wait. Hmm, I'm gonna wait. They need to eat the food. I guess. Also, the chat on the phone is so tedious. Okay, now we see some upgrades. So these are attractive cottages. Appeal of the neighborhood. Guess we could help him out to it. Mm, it's actually gonna be enough to get it to him desirable later. Okay. Congratulations. Under your wise tutelage, the people of your village have mastered the new art of farming. Thanks to you, they now reside in much sturdier, more attractive cottages. The village of Banpa on the Wei River continues. I don't have the white skin patch, no. But ill health threatens, and the villagers begin to grow restless. For I cannot have it in windowed mode. It is fortunate that wise herbalists can now proffer their remedies to the townsfolk, and talented musicians can provide relaxing tunes. At the kiln, clay can now be fashioned into fire hardened ceramics. The end product is not only beautiful, but will be much appreciated. If offered in homage to the creator goddess Nuwa. Two months of heroes, it's gonna be the tough part, maybe. 400 people on spacious dwellings. Okay, do we now go very hard? I guess we'll keep it in hard during the tutorial. Yeah, I'm gonna get the patch for next. Session, I think. Let's stick to this for now. I don't want to interrupt the stream because of it. Okay, so that's our first service, right? Musicians. They're gonna send out a walker. Next up, it's gonna be herbalist. Help, I think. Hygiene thing. Then this is controlling unrest, right? So this is the watcher. Wall of the vermin. Now we could get some aggressive animals, I guess. Okay, so we can configure these sorts of gates. Uh, 
paying homage. Uh, they're gonna have to donate resources to Nova. Uh, I don't want to read all this. Really don't. Pages. It's in industry tab. And we can see our workers now, finally. Yeah, Clay and Potter should be pretty straightforward. Yo, it's post game. Just an expression. Yeah. So we're gonna want to start with these. Get a music school. We'll want a herbalist. Who's gonna be in? Safety. And a watchtower as well. The watchtower would prefer us to have it right by this terrain. Let's try to get it here. And we are gonna want to take a look at industry. So we do have a few unemployed people. I guess we'll get more. Wages are normal. We could uh, do the residential ball, I guess. I also don't think that this is gonna be quite big enough if we have to stick with this city for a while longer, which is possible. It might not accommodate all the people that the game might want. That could be pretty bad. Yeah, I mismanaged that a little. Cut this part off. Not enough, okay. So we will want industry now, I think. The clay pets. Where do they like to be? Here. It's fine. We'll get two of them. I guess it's same as in Caesar where one resource producer can support two. Workshops usually. Take this road. Watch it. We're gonna want uh, roadblock. Yes. Roadblock this off. And this warehouse is gonna accept only 20 or 16 hemp and. In ceramics. I'm gonna need uh, people. They are moving in though. So, okay. Specials dwelling. I think this is the goal, right? Mostly yes, okay. So some of them might be the exception. Like clay pit is basically the only raw resource producer. That doesn't use focus like the hunting post though. Ugh, that's such a pain. Why is this a thing? Why? Yeah, and other walkers. I think Herbalist and Guard. And we get a Herbalist. The miners uh, are never bottlenecked by having to walk, really. I think post is the only stupid one. Okay, right, so if we place the mines next to a deposit, it will actually not be so bad. 
Sounders are really bad. And I guess the lumberjacks are gonna do the same thing where they cut the trees like in Pharaoh, which I'm not a fan of at all. Gonna have to set up our uh, shop stall for ceramics. And let's take a look at industry. So our workforce, now we have some unemployed people. They're gonna want to expand the industry eventually, but for now we should be fine. Just which people move in and when it becomes an issue. The idea is if you have a lumber post, for instance, the building can produce 12 wood a year. If the lumberers can provide it with steady enough supply of wood. Well, yeah, but <laughs> it's just tedious to have bits of forest around. Usually want to clear, so I'm not a fan of that. I know why, like the reason behind the decision, but I just don't like it. Hunters. Yeah, just... I want them to do their thing. Also the musicians are sitting at the market square. I think that's how it works. And Emperor you have to squeeze in much faster than Caesar? Oh, okay. Then it should be okay then. I don't actually realize that it might not be so tight with space and missions. Not sure. And hello Electrington, welcome. Also because of Feng Shui, yeah right. If you want to maximize that, you would have to make sure that you place them in accordance with the Feng Shui, so that's sacrificing a lot of space, possibly. Uh, most comfy city builder. Oh, that's why I like it. <laughs> I guess since uh, I read some of the stuff that Dennis posted in Discord about the military as well, this game isn't too intense, I don't think. So like, no sense of impending doom. Just really sad. After they are billions, this is gonna feel like a vacation. So... They have taken all the... Operate from there, so you're gonna wait until there is more and then probably try to sacrifice for the Numa or however the goddess is called. You can look at some of my screenshot splices to see what big cities looks lo look like. I, I think I saw them actually. They look pretty cool, but I did not understand the purpose of many buildings, so so far I wouldn't probably glean much information from that. But yeah, the uh, spacing might be something to look at. I mean, there can be impending doom, definitely. It's more than invasion, but rather more intense. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we saw that with the unrest before, but we should be good now. So, goals. Uh, I think we need to focus on Getting to good as happy. How are you doing on... Yeah, religion is just ancestor shrine, so it's fine. We also have 18% unemployment. That's not good. I could consider making more pottery. I guess we will want to export it at some point, because... Next step should be export, right? With the tutorial. At least I'd imagine so. So is this... that cut off my city? Yeah. Okay, just build here. And after we get some pots, we should definitely think about making the sacrifice, I think. So, so far they have been taking all the resources here. 
Yeah, they are making the right food now. I guess now we could... Oh, it's plain, okay. What about some of these spacious dwelling? Spacious dwelling, right. Appetizing food would be required, so that's not happening. Yeah, one more mission in the city on trade and diplomacy and then it's off to edit over the second part of the tutorial. Okay. I don't think I ever got this far in the game, so now we are in a totally blind territory for me. Where do we do the sacrifices? Yeah, it's filling up the market strokes. What I thought. Click the text religion on what religion is that? Okay. I'm gonna wait for a bigger gift, I think. Should get it very soon. But maybe multiple small gifts are better, I'm not sure. I guess you'll do a medium one now. Can send hemp. Yeah. So the red thing is probably uh, the happiness meter or indicator. Yeah, house production cost of five bits hundred stones. So she buffs production. Certain building. Uh, Millet is not looking great. But we have two farmhouses for it. We are gonna do it. But we need to wait a month. So this would be December. I'm gonna need to wait until it flips. Uh, yeah, I guess that's good because I don't want to micro if I can avoid it. It's like if you consider having Caesar to appease in Caesar, where you send him small gifts every now and then to buff up the favor in the most effective manner, but instead you would have like multiple Caesars to micromanage with. All sorts of goods instead of money. So yeah, you take something that's already not great and then you like go all over making it even worse. That's a very good decision, I think. Definitely one of the reasons why this game isn't too well known. Uh, where is the... Is it this thing? Collapsed. I think it's because of this star not reaching. We could build another one, I think. Uh, fine. We have plenty of workers. But it was a clay pit, right? And the mill is full. The mill seems like it has, yeah, it has the same amount of stockpile as Granary and Caesar. It just takes like four times the space.
I guess it's too far because we have roadblocks right there and there, but it might be too much for him. The inspectors don't really look like they can cover as much as prefects in Caesar. Or definitely not as much as engineers. New year, yeah, who cares? Oh, uh, let's go into whatever this is called. Uh, yeah, let's give her amp. Great gift. Come here and let me finish it. We have the people, I think. We have the cottages. We just need the god. I believe inspectors can walk around 25 tiles. That isn't a lot. That's not a lot at all. It's often better to have some inspectors overlap, yeah, I can see why. Let's give her ceramics. She's blue now. So can we like invite her or is it gonna happen on its own? Give it a month, okay. Okay, so we should get the hero now, right? Surely. Surely. No, I don't see it anywhere. There's no space this slot anywhere in this city. Yeah. Also, I think you should be uh, happy that we have some new emotes to purchase. I think I reshuffled some of them, so the three emotes should be more general to have all the basic like emotion stuff. And then the unlockables are actually just extra, apart from the animated uh, fresh breeze. Okay, we got Nuba now. So, just have to give it some time, I guess. I also need to guard pushers. Waiting to unload goods. Okay. Waiting to unload. So that would be... Yeah, I have to wait. 
Or maybe this? Take this heavy load, okay. Yeah, that's the boot. Emote. It's a sniper from the Ark Alliance. Now, wait until we have two months of Nova. Giant, absolutely giant. Just towering over the houses. What does she even say? Okay. I guess there is also control. Yeah. Ah, uh, I cannot imagine doing that. Like on a regular basis, I guess you want to do that with some of the heroes that you make for a specific purpose. What happens when she reaches the flag? Is she just gonna stand around it? I guess. So we will send her here, I think. I don't want to micromash the heroes, okay. Good job. The arrival of the herbalists and musicians have certainly improved the lifestyle of your villagers. Their spacious new dwellings are a big improvement and are much appreciated. It is a pleasure that you could join us again, Honorable Village Elder. Your wisdom and guiding hand has ably served the town of Van Paul. Previously, you laid out the village's houses and other community structures, kept the population fed on game meat and millet, established a booming ceramics industry, and with generous homage offerings, attracted the venerable creator goddess Nuwa. Now wheat, another nutritious grain, can be grown to supplement the harvest. More importantly, however, a world beckons beyond your village walls. Already, explorers have departed Banpal in hopes of discovering other towns. As leader, you will soon learn how to interact with other cities of China. Let's get uh, the difficulty up, I guess. So the goal is going to be 500 people in elegant dwellings. One trading partner produce four jade carvings in one year. Okay. So jade is going to be our export, I guess. Out with the old. For best efficiency, a farm should grow more than one crop. That way, when one crop is out of season, the other one might be in season. Keeps the farm labor busier a large portion of the year. With that in mind, let's pay another visit to the millet farm. Using the clear tool, delete the farm. Make it for some wheat, however, if millet is currently in season growing, you might want to put that off. And with the new, yeah, right. We already have the second farm, but we also have much more people than the mission wants us to get. Yeah, we are probably gonna have to get... The, uh, just keep the one mill. Okay, let's pause the game. Go into the mill. Accept that. I'm gonna accept... Yeah, let's set it to 12 all. And we are gonna go and take this clear too. We're gonna want to take this part off. This part off. We're gonna replant it with wheat. Right. Create this unique resource in that you can never produce, never produce it yourself. It's always something you import, process, and then sell carve jade for half the profit. Normals don't help, far will just produce infinite and more car pushers. Okay. So our mill is fine. So 
so we need to import for JF Carvers uh, they will do the industry thing I guess we can have them over here wouldn't be that bad I don't think we could maybe consider having a roadblock right here then this is gonna be a new area Birds. I want a warehouse Can we rotate it? No. Is it gonna work when it's not touching the roofed tile? I guess it's gonna be fine. Well, uh, I think we should maybe get the warehouse here then. There's our workshops over here. What's that? Messages. Employees needed. Gonna have to go to the world map. I don't think we discovered any cities yet. No, 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 don't quit, Emperor. Go to the city. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, they are doing. Things I don't want. Okay. Uh, no, let's not accept any of this. Gonna accept Jade. And got Jade. Actually, can do, I think, 24. Just do. Eight of this. We can put up all the gift. Uva. We actually cut back on some of our other industry, I think. And then we can gift it, so it's gonna be. How was it? Dang Nong. What does he do? Fields and farmhouses. Alright, well, let's give him some butter. There is an X button on the bottom right of the warehouse screen that sets everything to not accept. Yeah, like in Augustus, okay. Yeah. That would be... Right there. We might consider getting another house in here, however the food might be a little strained. They probably shouldn't just that. How's the uh, population looking like? And now we have some unemployment, but it's not big. So it should be okay. So do we take a look at the map again? It's us, right? Well, no cities just yet, so gonna have to wait a little bit. I might actually consider getting more houses and then another farm, but I really don't want to. And for upgrades, they would want appetizing food, right? So that should happen eventually when we get. Yeah, we should also accept wheat in the mill. Yeah, that's done. Tempting to get at least one more house. I'm already discovered, but it's another city, I guess. New arrives. Yeah, I'll let her just do her thing. I'm is all the way over here by the Ocean. Uh, demand goods or money from this city. That's like 
begging, I guess. Gift, bunker, train a spy, send diplomatic request, open trade. What's that? This voice line was uh not really great. Do we have any other new people? I don't think so. Is it looking good? Just kidding. Eh, I would not consider it a city just yet. It's our humble village of Banpo, I think. But we are getting there. It's a good idea to send a trade request to all other cities as soon as, as, soon as you can. It's the cheapest way of establishing diplomatic relations and get information from them. Click the emissary again. I mean, he has another funny line. Okay. Where is he? That's the same one. Departure time is always exciting. I only hope to return with my head on my shoulders. Yeah, that's a better one. I like that one much better. So hopefully we'll get some evolutions soon enough if they choose to create appetizing food eventually. So that should happen, yeah, now they are getting the wheat. Some juicy stronghold wheat right there. These hunters, they look like Mongolian yurts. I actually like that, I think they shouldn't be like a proper structure. I also kind of like how the houses look like early. Like the shacks look pretty accurate, I think. Let's have the food stall. In such quality to appetizing. Oh yeah, right. So that would be appetizing and then take a look at... Uh, I always struggle with this. Commerce, right. Shop. This one would be set to uh, land, plain, but I know, plain. They, no, 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 they are both sharing the screen, right? Yeah, I think so. That's not great. But maybe it's because we want multiple market people to get that trade with Hamudu opens up so this is trade what what is that stock stockpiling no we don't want to do that commerce uh is the trade screen import wheat price trade yes Importing from Hamudu, yes. No. Uh, can I export ceramics to or do we have to open the trade route itself? No. Ah, I need to build like a trader's warehouse, right? Yeah, yeah, right, it's giant. Well let's keep it here. And now we can do that from here. We are gonna be buying jade. We're gonna buy a lot of it and it'll export ceramics. Yeah, sell a whole bunch of it. And let's take a look at our population. Mm, we don't have that many unemployed people. Not great, but we 
could maybe get... No, we are getting another evolution there. Get another house here. And we are gonna make another clay pit, I think. And then replace the kilns we may mm, we had earlier. Yeah, you're gonna solve that. We should also get the better food now. Yeah, I think these evolved elegant dwelling. Yeah, so extra space for eleven. The well would be upgraded, I guess, but it's not really necessary. Gonna consider it on some other maps, I guess. We should probably build my artisans as well. Start with just a few of these. And let's take a look at the map. Yeah, another city, so let's request trade again. Back to the city, and people are definitely gonna be a problem, but for now it's not that big of a deal, so we should solve that with just people moving in from the evolutions, I guess. Problem might be some of the desirability around here. We could actually get some more gardens over here that would help keep you guys out, I think. Yeah. But overall, I would have to probably get rid of one of the houses to evolve them properly. Which is not something I want to do, really. It's uh, curious that this one doesn't want to evolve, even though there are four squares of garden there. Hello, Jake, welcome. I was very close to so paint this game along playing it. But it just felt like something was wrong with it. Yeah, it's not something that I would... Like, I never played it much. I only played a little, tiny little bit of it on my, uh, my own. Well, people wanted to see it, so here we are. And I guess your time on stream is actually much more valuable than mine, so... For you it makes sense not to play this. Especially you could piss people off by just... Them interrupting the long play and not playing it, I guess. So far, like, there are some things that I actually like, but at the same time, Augustus actually does a lot for Caesar that makes Caesar actually better in many ways. I sincerely believe. So, kind of depends on what you like, as well. I'm not at all fan of Chinese civilization, so I uh, cannot say I enjoy the setting at all. Same deal with Pharaoh though, I'm not at all interested in Egypt. So. Uh, setting is just with Caesar, and then the other things, mechanical features are actually quite alright. I like the farming more, I think, in here than in Caesar. At least there's that. Alright, so what else do we need? You see, we're gonna get some carved jade pretty soon. They rejected our trade agreement. Can we request that again? Yeah, yeah, let's close the festival. We could maybe gift them something. If they refuse again, I think we could probably gift them something. Like a rooster with a sore throat. Ha ha ha! Gong ji fa chai! Xin yin kuan na! Okay. 
Uh, it was a new voice line, so we had to click on him. I'm not sure if we have any new voice lines from the other traders. I can use either. I haven't seen a trader up here, but maybe I was just not looking properly. It's a hunter. Oh yeah, this trader, right? Okay. So this is his only voice line, I guess. Trader is just coming in. Yeah, with him. I need to check my goals again. Reduce for your carvings in one year. Yeah, we should do that. I think these three should be enough. Are these actually finished products? I think so. Yeah. Okay, so we are missing some at all. Great, yeah. Being deposited now. How many workers does this take? Just nine? I'm not that bad, I don't think. 14 for a clay pit. And for the kiln is 12. Yeah. That's Jade manufacturing might be very, very effective if you can sell that. He'll say more when he's leaving, or if there's anything. To Nothing to trade. Not that an emperor a year starts starts in February. Match the Chinese calendar. Yeah, that's not confusing at all to me. So for production goal like that, I'm measure from February to January. Okay. So probably need to wait this entire year. I could perhaps get yet another car of work just to make sure we can actually fill that and move on. I think after this mission, we should actually get a new map, right? So that would be good, I think. For me, it's actually more confusing that uh, that the year starts in January and other games at this point. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. I I think you play a whole bunch of this, so uh, you might be suffering from some emperor-related. Confusion. Cards look a little weird on the corners, but overall the sprites look okay. Red agreement rejected again, so we'd have to gift them something. I guess we can do it since we do have some money left, but we are spending a lot on the jade. Uh, we can give them resources actually. I guess you give them ceramics and then see what happens. The smell is something else. It's like from Conan. Ah, the wheel of pain. This is the real wheel of misfortune, by the way. I guess it's supposed to be the grinding process. But couldn't he have like a donkey or something here? Or even like do what Romans did and build it near the river. So you can actually uh, like use the water power. They'll like gifts they need more. And when being impressed by gifts of goods they produce themselves. Okay, so it's complex that like that. That's good. I think I like it. So the ceramics should have an impact. And they also would like carved jades. So we could sell them if they like the ceramics. Maybe we should just wait and it should naturally happen. I think. I don't want to increase the speed though, because I would have to go into the options manually, which I don't like. If it was on plus and minus keys, I would definitely do it. Yeah, it's nothing bad with just waiting around a little bit. I think shouldn't rush it. It should be on uh, the brackets 
Okay, let's try that. Uh, my problem is I have a check keyboard, so I have a whole bunch of uh, symbols that other keyboards don't have, so let me just alt tab. I'm gonna have to switch my keyboard up. Then we're gonna give this a shot. I don't think Chinese invented water wheels until like 2000 years later, yeah. Might be why it's... Oh yeah, this is, this is working now. Okay, fine. Oh, let's speed it up a little. What an emissary arrives. Please excuse uh, the interruption. Commissar Marag, an emissary from Hamudu, has asked permission to enter our city. Intentions may be peaceful or may, have, may present a threat. Let him do it. He bought a fun cut shade. Yeah, we will take it. Appreciate gifts of ceramics that they needed. And we are gonna go into this uh, thing, open trade with them. They're gonna want it. And we also have a whole bunch of jade. I hope that this year should actually work out. Where is the objectives thing again? Why? Maybe it needs to account for the whole year. You always want to permit emissaries, unless you want to laugh at cutting his head off. Okay. Makes sense. No advantage to refusing uh, or executing unless you deliber deliberately want to piss off the cities. Doesn't update until the end of the year, okay. Well, it will happen, you know. Trade opens up. Well, fine. I will make the depot, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's build it here. And we are gonna start selling them Garp Jade and we can sell everything. December? We should win in January, I think, so don't rush the speed too much. Maybe it's end of the January, right? It's because it's February. Okay. Excellent work. It's easy to see that trade with other cities can be beneficial for both parties. You now have learned the basics of building a thriving town, feeding its people, establishing industry. It's how much you store, not how much you trade. Okay. It is now time, however, to leave the village of Van Hall and found a new town. Early Tau. Okay, proceed. Here on the plains of Early Tau, a new town shall be established. The nearby river will provide plentiful quantities of delicious fish, and the fertile soil is ideal for bountiful harvests of nutritious wheat. Additional food can be imported from Hemudu or Banpa as necessary. As before, fine ceramics can be produced at kilns. It has been said that wonderful gifts come in small packages, and so it is true with the tiny silkworm. This marvelous creature, when fed a diet of tender mulberry leaves, produces a delicate strand of precious silk. Weavers can then meld these fragile filaments into luxurious garments, which are already highly prized by the growing number of new elite. Your village, in fact, needs a special neighborhood reserved for a number of these prosperous citizens. As word spreads of the beautiful silk being produced at your town, do not be too surprised if a greedy neighbor asks for some samples. Okay, so uh, take a look at the goals. 40 people in lavish. I'm not gonna pronounce that, or better. Produce five bolts of silk in one year, okay. So first you should focus on the basics. Also, 
I guess money is gonna be a thing now, so probably a good idea to take a look at the trade as well. <sighs> Let's take a look at the city. Let's take a look. We don't know anything about these guys yet, right? No, we don't have anyone in the city. That's why, probably. Right. So we need to find a new city, but we need to design a housing block that will actually be kind of useful. Unlike the last one we had, which was eventually worked out, but early game it was a massive pain to do it. I guess we would want this hill to be our elite housing. Probably, right? And farms can be on the low ground over here, I guess. Not sure if there is a ship transport like in uh, Faro or anything like that. And unless I may say this once you have a population. Yeah, makes sense. I just wanted to check what they buy, but I guess that's also only available once you have people. So that's fine. That is copper deposit? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be a little rough. I'm still at, uh, not great at judging things, so the block might end up being horribly ineffective. We start with 7000 money, so I guess it can even take some mismanagement, but I really should try to make the loop work. And I guess the city will be in this sort of area, like the main loop. But we might even want two of them actually, just because the towers, the engineers are actually horrible. So, let's clear some of this. Uh, main road, I'm not big fan of it. Probably get rid of it. There is a water trade. This will trade over land or water, okay. So there is a river, I guess, that will become a thing. Could get some trucks over here, I guess, eventually. So we should start with building a loop. So that's gonna be incorporating some of this terrain, just for engineers, I think. We should try to keep the loops pretty simple, I guess. So it's gonna be two on this side, middle, and then two on this side for housing. Something like this while we will try to keep If we have an engineer here, he could walk That would be space for one two three four five six houses like this and Then he should return the same way he came. I think this should be coverable by guy I guess you'll find out. It's not gonna be too great for housing capacity, but my hope is that we can get another one and then they could maybe be supplied by same market? No, not really, right? We need separate markets. That should be okay though. If we can fit a the market is giant as well, right? There is a okay, right? Orchards are for the mulberry trees. Market, uh, common. It's absolutely giant. I guess we could have it like this and then keep some service buildings right beside it, but it's gonna take up a lot of valuable space. The housing block tend to want one little corner with a rock access for the inspector. Everything else in the housing block is fine without rocks. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I'm wondering about the size of this. It feels tiny because the houses in Emperor require 2x2 two two, and that makes a massive difference for me. I, I mean in Caesar I also want to build 2x2s two two, but they I think house way more people when you actually match the houses like that. Instead here it's just a house like a single one. 
So I'm worried that I might not be able to get as much population as I would like in this. Means I should probably actually have started building at this little more to the side. Yeah, I'll. I think I'll just reload. Uh, I'm maybe thinking about this too hard, but. I really want this to work out. Right, so let's add this like that. And I want this to be. Like this. And then the tiles. So if the inspector is placed here. House, 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 like this. It should be okay, I think. So, you need to keep in mind that we want a market, so it's gonna be giant. It's gonna be built here. You can place it. This, this feels very tiny. Uh, but it should be okay. Okay, let's try something like this. I'm gonna take safety, so I'm gonna want the bells to be just unevolved, that's fine, I think. I'm gonna place a single well right here. I don't want the inspector to be built by the rocks. Fortunately, I didn't build it properly, but we can have it here. And then, yeah, it's gonna be it for now, I think. We want just some people in the city. Ah! That's an insanely high speed. Okay. So now I have some people. I'm gonna go to the Empire map. I'm gonna take a look. What do they want? Can I find out? Now let's try to open trade with everyone. And we're gonna want to start getting these people food. So let's take a look at food. That is fishing, right? Fishing koi. So that can be built on water, right? On the road line. Yeah, like dwarfs and Caesar. I'm not sure if that is fish thing. Yeah, that is fish over here. Okay, let's just clear some of this, see if we can actually use that. The panic! Yeah, the panic is not good. Uh, speed was a little bit too intense for me there. Just one fishing... <laughs> Why? Okay. This the game wants to be mean. Uh, this would probably work fine. Uh, 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 if I can only have one fisherman, I, I, I want to immediately go and make just farms instead. But it's probably a bad idea. Oh, suck it up. Build some fishing voice, or whatever it's pronounced. Uh, gonna need to probably get. This is horrible, I'm gonna need two freaking inspectors just for this. Little more reliable than hunting. Yeah, I can imagine since there is a fishing spot. But there are so little spaces for voice that I'll have to build them all the way here, which is terrible. I'm gonna have to get two inspectors to cover that. I guess I might as well build the mill though. How's the workforce looking like? 
affordable. What is the thing? Uh, mill? Yeah. Where do we want the mill to be? I guess here. Then we are gonna want uh, a road. Gonna come out like that. Gonna have to do it. Uh, this quest is gonna be so much pain, but it's very close to the fish. I guess it's gonna be kinda efficient. Fishing scale is better. Infinitely better on hunting, okay. So I'm gonna want to just suck it up and build two inspectors. I think. Let's build that. I also would like to connect this in a sort of sensible manner, so it doesn't look too horrendous. Mm, what about the inspectors? That's safety, right? I don't think I have enough people to support all that, so... I'm gonna have some issues. Also, we'll want that roadblock right there. Uh, can I get... I could get another house here. This would not get desirable as well, because I want a wall, I think, the residential one. This one would get it. I think Shui is bad there. I guess you can get a corner house over here. Not as bad. Uh, do we have plaza now? Get on the way. Oh no! Why? Why is this a thing? This is not the way to nerf plaza. I know plaza is absolutely broken, but this is not the way to do it. It's very efficient. How can it be efficient? This game has walkers, right? So they see every road style as a choice, if they have a choice, you never want to give them a choice. You want to force them in a certain direction, because otherwise stuff sort of tends to explode. Only one tile is possible. Okay, right. So, if I have planned for that, <laughs> i probably have built this differently then. But it's gonna stretch the roads even more, and then my inspector is gonna not be able to cover that. Well, then I'm kinda forced to make two inspectors at each loop. My god, this... I want to go back to Caesar. This is... Why is this a thing? I don't like it. Just get the massive labor sponges going because otherwise it will die. I'm gonna set up a uh, fish. Stacks adjacent on both sides. It's gonna be so hard to wrap my head around that, I'm not gonna be able to do it, I don't think. My brain only knows Caesar, and this speaks against everything that I know. Hundred people. Right. I'm gonna get some immigration, hopefully some fish, and then some evolution. This is gonna be our blob block, I guess, because I will not be able to evolve them much. But eventually, uh, maybe the second block is gonna allow for the plaza, but... Uh, even thinking about that, it's gonna be so much pain to get that going. From design perspective, I already have so much trouble figuring out the inspectors because they have so crappy range. It's 
So we should get some fish soon. Yeah, labor is crap. It's gonna have to be solved. Let's hope we can do it. Shocking revelation. Herbalists have even crappier range. My god. Why oh, is that even a possible thing? I guess they could have just made a thing that would have like a walker that would have like six style range. Then you'd have to be forced back. I'm kind of surprised they didn't actually, from what I've seen. <laughs> I mean, you need to just treat it like if it's a different game and stop automatically thinking it's following Caesar rules and mechanics. Yeah, I guess, but since it's Sierra game, it's very similar. When I look at it, I immediately notice things and I think Caesar, right? If it was a different game entirely, I would t totally be able to not treat it like that. But it is logical that I compare it automatically to Caesar. I cannot not do it. Just had trouble. The range is fine, you can have an even bigger loop than this. Just had trouble because of labor. Is that so? I guess. But it really, I would like everyone's exploding. But you know the game, so you should be right. Just feels so different. Ah. What I, what I basically see when I look at this is like, did somebody mod Caesar? And I'm <laughs> nah, I don't know, man. That's why I do. I, I know one thing that happened here, yeah, right? Somebody else suggested this. I think it was Letterington because I would not be one to add this to the long playlist. <laughs> We get our first fish. It looks almost the same as in Caesar as well. Yeah. It's in hundreds as well. Yeah. Ah. Uh, it's like somebody modded Caesar and made it worse. Uh, I don't know, slapped some like Chinese aesthetics on it. Made several features worse and then called it a day. I don't know. I'm comparing it to Augustus, of course. If I compared it to Julius, it would probably be better mechanics wise, just because of the global labor pool and some of the other stuff. But eh, I don't know. It feels like a pain. So they should get some food. What else do they want initially? I think just food to evolve another step, right? I need to do it gradually because I don't remember anything. What's first exactly? I don't like how those houses are not... I'm not able to place them one by ones. I don't like the inspectors range at all. It feels so small. I, I think you said that it was longer than I actually think. But still, compared to engineers, it's just nothing. That two th These two things together actually make the housing blocks a massive pain to design, at least for me. And then the market place is just absolutely huge, which cuts even more into the space of the actual loop. Then you have the plazas which take 2x2, two two, which is just mind-boggling to me. The mill is absolutely insanely huge as well. I guess that's not as big as a problem if the maps are big as well. But it just feels at least it should have more space or something. Because it really cannot fill, fit that much in it. But it might be that the card pushers, as if they spawn infinitely, then it might get stocked up 
eventually it's not as important to have it full. I'm not sure. You are expert at this game, so I'm playing this basically. I'm, it's not for the first time, but it's definitely for longer than 10 minutes. It's just my impressions on it. I'm not saying I'm correct, it's just how I feel. And That should be... It's not Caesar, <laughs> so I can't interrupt. Yeah. What was your first Caesar housing block? I don't even remember. This is probably horrible because I didn't understand the mechanics and I was a kid. But... I think this is not a good housing block. It's, uh, it bothers me that I need 2x2 two two for this. I guess that is a way to do it and make it sort of look okay. I'm gonna have to just find out how to do it. So they did get food, right? They forage for food. No, they don't. They do have bland food. Ancestor Shrine, right. Uh, I guess we'll slap it down there. At your cities for housing inspiration. I guess I could take a look at the screenshots you posted. But that's like custom maps, right? So the design should probably be pretty similar. Everything is minimized now. <laughs> Gonna give me a second. Where is that? Emperor, right? So how do they look like? How many do we have on the inside? Like you have six uh, houses or Two by twos on the inside and then have the outside covered. I don't know what some of the buildings are, obviously, because it looks just like very different. I don't notice where you have the market square. Oh, it's totally full of stuff, right? That's why it looks different. So you have it on the end of the block. So you have it like an offshoot, like a T sec intersection. You can have up to 10 2 by 2s on the inside. Very few buildings. Ah, uh, residential gate. Okay, yeah, right. So you configure. So you configure who can go to, and you just make it so that. But that's you. You see, that's very different for me. Ah, it's gonna mess with my brain. How is this done? So you have two squares of road behind the gate so that the walker can spawn, right? What's this uh, symbol for two? Garden residential wall. Yeah, residential wall between the market and then... What are the numbers? Probably housing, right? Okay, I see, right. Uh, roadblock. Okay. I guess I could try to emulate that at some point. But now I've built this, it actually feels so bad to have to start over, but I think we should, because I should learn how to do the proper one. Without that, I'm Never gonna be able to enjoy this. I also had to reconnect my chat because I have it on my phone as I said before and it's a little tedious. And I have to try and mm, make it happen. The fishing is gonna be a massive pain again. But, oh well. So, let's take a look. 
Can we design the aesthetic roads right off the bat? No, we have to have the regular road placed first. Alright. Uh, how did I have this? I also think you don't want to have the whole side covered by this. So just a corner would be preferable. But it's kind of tough to get the corner covered unless I build it here. It's not something I want to do. And if I build it here, it would get cut into this. Well, we could maybe have this one. If we keep it so that we can have two and two. You don't have the middle part. And then you want to have space for two, ten by two. Uh, for ten, two by twos. It's too many. I think it's. You have double rows, right? So it's for five. No, it should be for more. I think it's six, seven, eight. Should be enough. Still, right? I don't know. <sighs> okay, let's place this, I guess. Why is this a thing? I don't understand it. Fill this middle part in, I guess. But then, what about this? Can it be even accessed? The intersection with residential gate. I'm uh, gonna do that, but. Mm, I guess I want the inspector first, just so that I can sort of figure it out. Because it cannot be placed there. Okay, it can go here, I think. And then... I guess we could have the well over here. I don't think we, much, we want much else, initially, at least. Then we're gonna want to have the gate itself, but it's from the middle, right? But I have no middle, this is... Uh, let's just have it like this and then we will have the actual road come through like this. This is horrible, by the way, I, I led myself into the rocks here. Where is the market? Common marketplace. I guess we do not really necessarily need these two houses here. It should be plenty, right? I mean, I, I saw it was probably preferable to have it here, but then the function might be messed up. It's definitely gonna be messed up. Uh, well, I guess we are building it anyway. Then we are gonna want residential wall over this square right here. And would we want to permit market employees? I guess inspector sort of needs to go there as well. But it's gonna mess up his pattern, so then stuff is gonna burn. Buildings doesn't work normally built on the outside. We want the shrine. If they only touch the impossible garden part, the walkers will spawn on the road. The 
experience. Ah. You see, I don't, I don't think I like this. Uh, just feels like I'm putting together some sort of horrible abomination. It's just. I'm following some sort of instructions from what you've sent me, but even then it feels wrong. Everything I do feels so unintuitive. I don't want double roads, I just don't want them, ever. Why do I... I'm forced to do them. Uh, it, everything, because of that, everything just feels so different. I, and now I don't know. Can people walk into the garden and like have it be accessible or is it... The Volker is gonna walk on this, right? So does he have two tiles range or one tiles range? I don't have overlay, so I cannot like check. I guess we can let it run. But what about this now? If I, I guess I set up his own uh, how is it called engineer uh, inspector, right? So we don't want him to end in the rocks, I don't think. So we're gonna place him there. And then a uh, shrine, right? So we want the ancestral shrine. We're gonna want it uh, here. Let's hope he spawns in there. It's fine, yes. <laughs> uh, I guess see. I guess. Uh, fish, All right? We're gonna want to set up a fishing again, and it's gonna be here. I don't know if the road is set up correctly. Yes, it is. Okay. Old start. Adding some fishing ways. The part needs to go. Uh, we are gonna want a mill gonna be important. I don't know how far they can walk from the market, but probably it's not that far. For it to be still efficient. So I think maybe the mill is gonna go somewhere over here. Then we would probably just connect this up like its corner is inaccessible. Ah, uh, well, that's very bad. I could just bring a road out from this, I guess, and then I would block it off. It should work, but it's hideous. I'm gonna want another inspector. Uh, I guess you build it here. You're gonna want to roadblock this off. This off. Then another inspector, just for this. Uh, oh, I cannot cannot go anywhere here, so I guess we would actually be better off if we just made the road go around like this I'll pause the game Except fish, guess that will be okay. Commerce as this. Good job. Okay, let's see how this goes then. I think we also wanted to get gardens in this corner.
Um, let's bump his speed a little bit. So they are moving in. They want water. They'll need workers, I guess. Yeah. Is it gonna spawn the walker? I don't see him anywhere. Oh, it's just one guy is working in there. Might be why. So we should get that sorted soon, hopefully. Also these require labor and quite a bit of it on all the specters. It's horrible. Labor advisor, can we go in there and fiddle around with the workforce? Not here. I want to see my like advisors thing. I might find something funny. I should take a look at it though. Ah, uh, look at it. In forum. Yeah. But I'm not here to stay, I don't think. <laughs> uh, this is it. I think we'll prosper here. I'm the immigrant lady then. Oh, okay. Get the housing done, uh, hopefully feed them with some fish pretty soon. What are they even doing with the fish? Are they like slapping it against something? I guess that's how they clean it or something. Or is it like... I don't even know what they are doing. And there is no physical fish? Oh, there is, okay. What the fishes? Press industry at the top of the tab. Okay. Alright. I guess you should be fine now. Right? Yeah, they want food now. So the, f the water guy is walking around. At least this temple is working, so good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get food soon. Still need some workers. Mainly in the wharfs, probably. Waiting for the fishermen to come back, okay. So now there's a different animation. It looks like she wants to catch it and then she just dodges. Strange. <laughs> uh, I guess we are still getting more people. How many are in, in these cards anyway? Is it like two people per card? Great delivery on that water carry line. Four or five, okay. 
I know that some of them work, right? So you have the same sort of system, like in Caesar, where some of them will be old or children. I guess that would be in population. Uh, oh shit. Peasants, this is classes. There is uh, about how the population worked, no demographic shift. Okay, so they got rid of it. Makes me sad. So they are bringing the fish. Result in some eating soon. We should uh, dispatch the emissaries. I still don't remember which cities the client and which open the trade. Let's do it. Does it really make you sad? It always felt like it was a painful silly mechanic. Well, I like when game suddenly for inexplicable reasons starts to cause your entire city to lose workers and people die because of it when they don't research it. Uh, making it's a silly joke of course, it's a bad mechanic. It's uh, confusing, so some people really just rage quit because of it. It's terrible. Find the city. The inspector has full workers. I guess this is large for him. Just... <sighs> yeah, I think this is too much. Life belt. What? Nine? I think this is slightly too large, so eight would be fine, right? I guess we could buff up this inspector. How much would it take? Get him. Is that a, like a meter or something? I don't think so. Gonna cover him. Now he's done, okay. So hopefully that's gonna help with the fire. I think the issue is your gates aren't quite placed right, so it's not through a closed loop. They need to be one tile closer to the loop. There is an overlay on the aesthetic tab. Desirability. Very appealing, right. And now we have robbers. Yeah, I think so. It's horrible. Gonna have to place a guardhouse. Emudu opens up. Guardhouse watchtower. Uh, I think it would like to be somewhere else, but just cannot have it. So we are gonna just slap it down here and I wanted to do something else what was it take a look at people yeah unemployment is high I want to figure out exports let's take a look at Hamudu it wants dog and ceramics and it sells rice and jade we could get, I guess, the silk trade going. So, do they trade by water or land? I guess land, right? Well, I guess we can check it with trading station. How would we do? So, silk. Agriculture farm. Oh, it's a uh, orchard. So, mulberry trees need to be placed around orchard shed. 
And is it as large as a farm or smaller? I don't really know anything. So gonna have to just try it out and see if, if it's good or bad, I guess. Gonna build a shed over here. They can be on my yeah, uh, it looks like tiles. Got it. I kind of want bookworm sheds. I guess first up we just need a bear house. Could be here. I kind of want an inspector star as well. Uh Yes, we are gonna have the inspector here. And uh, something wrong with my gates. I cannot build it there, right? That's the uh, plaza, I think. An orange dotted line on the map is land trade, a blue one would be water. Okay. So money is running out. You're definitely gonna need to start selling stuff. I just don't know how. Raw silk. No, I, I placed something wrong. Right? Or is it? Isn't it supposed to be an orchardist shed or something like that? Oh, is it silkworm shed directly under this cut? It's like a category thing. Okay. Arms are seasonal. Yeah, right. So, out of season currently. Well, we just have to wait then. Uh, we'd also take a look at our workforce. We could support more. How much would this city buy? Is there a way to tell that? Yeah, they would buy 24. And they would also buy ceramics. It would be... Uh, I think it's actually good if we set up the ceramics as well. So that would be another inspector probably to cover the other side because... This feels like it would be so unreliable. But I would like to set up the first industry first because I, I need to get something out, right? Artisans, beaver. That would be who processes the silk, right? I want to keep a pile there. And then maybe three beavers. Should accept silk. Something like 12. And then, uh, oh, raw silk and then silk. So 12 of that and 20 of that. Orchard Boros says exactly as same as the farms. Note that they produce raw silk. It's still processed by Weaver. Yeah. It's gonna take a while for these to get resources. What about the fish? Still doesn't look like they fed everyone, so I'm gonna figure out if this is gonna be enough or not. Could then also set up proper farming, I guess.
Also think we might want to set up a second silk thing. But maybe not just yet. Yeah, they would want a second food type. We could do a farmhouse and then grow wheat or hemp. They would also want hemp done, I think. Doesn't feel good. I'm gonna have to make the road go like this, like three tiles. Wheat field. And we should probably set this mill to accept some wheat. Where is the orchard? I think the silkworm shots actually don't want the yeah, coverage, so we should cut it off. No, not him. Uh, no, uh, more batteries, right. I could also consider making more fish there, but hygiene is falling low, okay. Might want to get a herbalist. But I think you said that they are horribly inefficient. It's probably gonna be horrible to just have one. I guess you'll figure it out. There are artisans in this thing, right? Because we are gonna shift this roadblock. It should be covered if we place it right there, right? I could actually see... Just using this for more artisans at some point. No herbosts can also draw... Do a loop like this, fine. Okay. That's good. Because the fishing is kind of working, but... I'm gonna need to wait until this is, uh, has grown some wheat, I think. Hygiene is improving. What's the population goal anyway? I don't think there is one. You just need people in lavish. One. The better. But we might be stuck on this map uh, more on some more missions. So that might be horrible if I mismanage the building. How long has it been anyway? I have no recollection of time since I'm uh, just full screening this. I think it's almost 10 o'clock in the evening, so we are at 
at least three hours, right? I don't know. Time is two hours, 42 minutes. Okay, thanks. Uh, there's one mission after this on military, and it's on the same map, right? No festival this year. Yeah, we don't have any entertainers. Just slowly figuring that out. No need to rush that, I think. Just uh, speed it up. My mana is not looking great, I don't think. Yeah, now they are actually working on the fields. Or the orchards, rather. Same map, okay. So that's why we have the copper, right? Yeah. I think so. So now they've grown some raw silk. Which is like the worms, right? Yeah. I think they are feeding the leaves to the worms and then the worms when they cocoon they bring them to the beaver and they process them into both. Copper gets smelted into bronze that gets made into weapons. But it doesn't bronze require tin as well. I guess the game doesn't go that far, you just need copper, right? And this is just copper, okay. Right. So we're gonna see how much we can make from this. We should also build ourselves the trading station, which is gonna be absolutely humongous. Is there a good place for it? I guess we could have it here, but it's gonna block off some space. Well, it's not that important, I don't think. We should set it so that we are selling all the silk we can get. And we should probably think about setting up another industry after that. But population is kinda low, so I'd like them to evolve. Now they are actually getting some wheat. Next up they will want hemp, probably. It's gonna have to be a hemp farm then, and... I guess we could have one here. also make the road first. Do it. Gonna be a hub feel all the way around. And a warehouse that would be here. And then build it on this uh, this terrain. I guess we could have it here. not accept anything and then switch it to just accept hemp and keep it at like 12 for now gonna be okay and then in uh, later ages you use iron and then steel for weapons need hemp yeah so uh, as i said uh, my chat is not great since it's on the phone so i'm missing a lot of stuff all the time so i might have to just look there and sometimes you stuff you right there uh, is no longer relevant yeah money is is horrible but we do have some silk what happens if you get bankrupted by the way I guess there is no uh, emperor to invade you just lose reputation with cities, I guess, or something like that. Hopefully we are gonna get some extra silk. Like we should be able to do it. Yeah. Not sure for how much it sells or anything like that. Quite a bit, I think. Okay, so this definitely helped, but we don't have any raw silk left. So at some point we might go even at third farm, maybe. 
Probably shouldn't go ham just yet. We should also build the ham shop. And food looks plentiful. You can't build anything if you are below minus 2k and unrest increases steadily as you are longer in debt. After a few years people start leaving the city. Other cities don't care about uh, that apart from you are not being able to buy their exports anymore or pay tribute if you are a vassal. Okay. Are these aggressive? I guess they could be. So far they haven't really attacked me, so that's okay. That's are not aggressive. They're just very fluffy and cute, okay. Maybe we want another housing block before we do anything else. Mm, maybe it's better to just keep one. I think now they are getting... Oh, it's just plain cottage still. Battler delivers, delivers some hemp. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Eventually, once this hemp farm actually produces stuff. Until that point, we are currently only 4% unemployed people. That's 11. It's not enough for anything, really. We don't have any surplus resources. So, no point in building anything just yet. The evolutions would probably help. Hey, Mort, welcome. This housing is fine, you just need to hand deliver. Finally, I have time. How is it going? Uh, Mixed feelings. It's very different from Caesar, I can tell you that. Uh, it's in not really in a good way. Some of the things are very frustrating to me, specifically. But overall, I, I think it's a good game. It's just that I don't think it's as good as Caesar 3 with Augustus. Any China question so far? Mm, I think we had something like that. Uh, well, it's this is still the tutorial, right? So the date is almost two thousand years before Christ. So we had something relevant to that. Uh, just don't remember. Was Struggling to wrap my head around uh, the housing blocks. I'd say that at least to give the Shang campaign a try. Gives you more freedom to experiment. Shang campaign. Is this the first one after the tutorial? I definitely will try that. I'm not abandoning this. It's just... Tough. How's the trade going? It looks like we managed to get some money. Is good. Yes, okay. We're gonna definitely take a look at it. I'm not saying we are abandoning this or anything like that, but... Just the initial feel really wasn't there for me. By the way, Dennis, did you play this as a kid? Or how did you even, like get to know this game. Yes, there might be some nostalgia for you, right? Hopefully the season for hemp is gonna be fairly soon. 
had bought this on season 3 as a kid, but I played this a lot more. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if I had vanilla Caesar and this, the kid self would probably also use this. At least sometimes, but for me it's also what about the feel. So, I like Romans a whole bunch more than Chinese. Uh, what was that message? I just skipped it. Messages. No festival. There won't be any festival until we need the entertainers. Need to freaking help, but it's not the season yet. I guess we can just speed the game up. Still 20 year old CD. I had used it until a few months ago. Festival at Hamuda. Give me two bolts of silk for my festival. I have six months to comply. This is like a Caesar request, but from different cities. Uh, okay, I guess. I'm gonna give him the stuff. Just don't have it yet. I guess we could somehow stockpile something. Commerce. Uh, price. You can also fiddle around with the prices, I guess. The parade looks cool. Yeah, the loose opinion. I don't want that to happen, I don't think. Because we are trading with them, so it would be bad to lose access to that trade. On the uh, commerce resources you want to stockpile, it would be... Ah, where is that eye? If I spin my mouse wheel, it's gonna flip. Those stockpiling silk, right? Okay. So finally, they are growing some hemp. I should have probably started that a little sooner. Oh well, it's just I mismanaged a little stuff. He sold. The silk. Now they should stockpile it probably after they get some other resources in there. So I guess that would be some sort of optimal like start where you would set up things gradually and especially the farms, like judge it by the seasons. So that you know that you can actually like make the goods as you need them instead of waiting for ages like I have to do. Uh, that's beyond me, at least currently. Yes, you probably turn farms on and on and off depending on seasons to save labor. That sounds horrible. I would totally forget to set them on again. Don't <laughs> bother with that, yeah. I won't. Here's some raw silk is getting produced. It looks like it's kind of low yield, so it might be worth it to get yet another one, but I don't have the workers currently. But we do have a big surplus of food, so I think that's good. Just need these guys to finally produce the mats or whatever. Somebody sells more rice. 
Can we send them the stuff? That is one silk. Two silk. Okay, well, let's go into the map. Uh, fulfill the city's request. Yes. Okay. So it's done. Now we can turn off the stockpiling. At least it's one click. Armor becomes um, more efficient in the Iron Age with the irrigation. Once you unlock that. Okay. Actually lost some population. They regard us more highly. Oh, okay. Good, I guess. And we have attractive cottages and they would like music. That would be in this. This is the entertainment, right? So we will set up our... Uh, entertainer, I guess. He should be able to access it through here. At least I think so. No, it needs access to a road. Well then, uh, that's bad for my existence. How am I gonna fix that? I could maybe just like not have this garden. But that would still only be a corner, right? No, that is a garden actually. That would work, I think. And put it near the mill. Oh, right. I think they are actually just gonna come into the marketplace, right? It's not like they they send out a walker to cover my block, like in Caesar. Yeah. So. We do have some space here, this is almost unusable, so let's just place it here. Alright, so they will get the music, and I think they wanted something else. Just really don't remember anything. Maybe it was uh, Herbalist actually. They should have it now, so they should be happy. Next up, probably pottery. So yeah, we are getting some people. We could definitely still capitalize on more silk. How much is for this farm? Well, I think we will do that actually. We can stockpile some of the unused silk in the warehouse and then use it throughout the year. So that would be a uh, orchard for this. Then we want to keep it. The house from there. Connect that. Orchard. Mulberry trees. Need to unpause. Did I misplace it? I think I did. Gonna have to fix that real quick. Feel bad at this game. Okay, now it should work, hopefully. What else is there? I think I wanted pottery, so that would be in industry, like bits. We have some over here, but it would probably mm, want another engineer. Musician walking to the marketplace does provide music access as it goes, but you mostly rely on the announcer from the market. Herbalist, yeah. Pottery and uh, appetizing food next. Okay. Happy New Year. Yes. No, no, I click no. Okay. Well, people will get pissed. We will set up like three. I think we can also sell some of the pottery, so that would probably be a good idea. But I would like to set up my manufacturing somewhat over here. We need how many? I guess we'll do four for now and just cut this one off. And how are they gonna do this? I think just get a roadblock right there and we are gonna stretch this road. We're gonna take an inspector, so it's gonna be in safety. 
I'm gonna place him somewhere. It's not gonna be good Feng Shui, but that's fine. Right? We could try to rely on this one, but I don't think that one would cover it. What's so good? Just get one here. So we, we have more people now. They would love appetizing uh, food. So for that we would need to get imports. And they would sell us rice from Mahamudu. But it's far for this. But we could get the mill to start getting the rice. And then we should set it up so that we import and we should uh, switch it up. Pottery. Uh, right, let's take a look at this. We are gonna accept pottery in here, ceramics. That is. Uh, how much do we want? I think we will want to limit the silk a little bit. How much is this? Gonna be 8? Yeah, I think so. Just 8 ceram ceramics. Putting down the raw silk a little bit. 12 ceramics. Then we are gonna have to get a better house. Actually, I do have a better house here that could start getting my ceramics. Would be 12 as well. And where's the market stools? Ceramics. And we want to give them. Uh, uh, is there a reason we want to give them a second food shop as well? Is it buffing? I, I think it's better for. They can get the food faster for the market itself, right? But there might not be another reason. I'm not sure. And something exploded. Because I... F uh, is this not... Yeah, this is not covered by a road. My mistake. Gonna have to rebuild that. I hope that this inspector is gonna cover everything. One of them exploded. Okay. It was MC, I think. Wouldn't be too bad. Now we do have a bunch of rice. I guess this is how the rice looks like, right? Yeah. Is it still on fire? Yeah, some of it. What? I'm on the river dragon. What? Where is that? Gonna ruin my stuff? Oh, it destroyed my fishing ways. Lovely. Gonna stop right here. No, it's gonna engulf, engulf my road as well. And it destroys my stuff. Well... That's not good. This is because of Nuva. I thought that you don't need to micromanage the gods. But if this happens, then you sort of need to do it. Well, this is just like it killed my city, right? But and why is this still going? Too many fires, too little time. I guess he's just still putting it out. You do need to give offerings to the ancestors or they do this. And there is no automation, right? I don't know why somebody thought that this was a good idea. Oh, 
Oh, I cannot give her much right now, I don't think. Where is she even? Let's just solve these obscure types. Like the fish? No, no, we cannot give her the fish. We can give her some of the wheat, I guess. But she's still pissed. She would require like a whole bunch of stuff. It has a mod that prevents them from losing favor over time. Well, that basically solves it, right? So would they never do this? We'll probably play with that. I'm not in a market for this. I will totally forget about gods. Just like, uh, at least if it's in Caesar, I can have a good overlay on the right side, so I can know when they are getting pissed. Or, like, make sure that I place temples and then they are appeased. But here it's just like, even if you give them stuff and just like play the game, then eventually they are gonna get pissed again. There can be scripted floods and or earthquakes. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, disasters are fine as long as the map actually is designed with them in mind. But this felt like, yeah, if this is a curse from the ancestors, then I think I'm, I'm gonna try to download the mod for the future. Not in the market for copious amounts of suffering on a long play. Let's build the hemp farm again, so that was in farming. And the second ancestor also wants stuff now, right? So they are just gonna demand things constantly, probably. Uh, yeah, this guy. There isn't much I can give them, really. Sucks. Emperor earthquakes are awful. Uh. You only have to keep one ancestor god happy. Just the ancestral god, though. How does that even work? Uh, are they both ancestral? I mean, this is a god of agriculture, and she is a god of play, or uh, stuff. There, creator goddess, and this is divine farmer. Each religion has three gods. I don't know anything about China. How am I gonna ever keep track of things that I have no? Association with uh, these names tell nothing to me, absolutely not. I don't know a single word in Chinese. And uh, uh, the inspector is clearly not able to go there. That's just a pain. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Or actually, is there. I think I'm missing a road tile or something. Or is there a rock? It's totally possible. There is a rock. I, I think there is a rock there. Yeah. Industry, workshop, skill. Yeah, if there is a rock, I'm gonna have to build them like this. Instead. So you want, where is the residential stuff?
I'll question it. This is actually confusion guard in this. Uh, I know who Sun Tzu is. And I'm pretty sure he was not a guard. <laughs> I mean, some historical inaccuracy is fine. It's a game. I get that. It's just... At least with Caesar, I have pretty good knowledge of Roman stuff and history and everything and character and like people, but this is very foreign. So not only is there no attachment from my side, but also uh, it's like I'm watching aliens. It's just uh, these gods, for example, they just I don't know, man. It just seems like. I'm never gonna be able to memorize this. Let's just send her some st stuff. He, she otherwise would let Pa my city again. I think. Where the hell? Uh, they have to kind of stretch the definition of God because Asian religions don't really work like that. Well, I have no idea. I never even. Like heard about Asian religions, so I, I guess they have like Taoism and Hinduism, which are monotheistic religions. And at some point they had multiple gods, like they were having these ancestral deities, probably. But I don't even know a single one. Heroes rather than gods. Yeah, that's also confusing a little bit, right? I guess it's because they actually like walk around so you can control them, but in a sense it It, it really isn't uh, a hero, it's a god instead. And you just have him in your city if you manage to do it, right? Don't tend that. Right, so that is a thing, the, the red symbol is actually not the only thing that indicates that. Indicates that. So we have elegant dwellings. They want ceramics. Unless they uh, get some, they will devolve. Right. That's why our stuff was interrupted. How much workforce do we have? Quite a bit. We should probably build another clay pit. Add some kilns as well. Can we get them? It's gonna be wrong Feng Shui. Unless I build them here. But well, yeah, they're fine. A relic left on from Zeus. I never played Zeus. Cannot say it appealed to me at all, visually or mechanically from my but I've seen, I, I think I've seen uh, Zack play it and it looked really bad. Especially the hero system and the monster system. It just looks like a massive, massive pain. Be glad you didn't play it, it was terrible. <laughs> Streamed it a bit, hitting every, hit it every minute. Yeah, then if, if you had it, then I'm probably just. Uh, not be able to play it at all. <laughs> okay, right, and our money was sort of interrupted by the flood. So... Question is, what do we do? I think maybe we want yet another silk farm and then some more artisans. Not actually sure, but I think we could fit a farm here and then just stretch this. Probably it would require another. Uh, what's it called? Inspector, but. Uh, I should probably do it. This feels like we always have it empty, even though we have three orchards. The pottery is also not looking too hot, but it should solve itself with the additional kilns, I think. It's 
So after I get ceramics, you'll get more people, even more than we already have. Wood is still looking okay. So do we start on our elite housing then? How does it even work? So you can place down elite housing that's like uh, another housing tile. So instead of 2x2, two two, it's actually 4x4. Four four. It's insanely large. So how much would we need? At least like two or three, right? You're producing plenty of ceramics. Your speed is just a little slow. Okay. Let's increase it a little bit. Collapsed building, fishing quay. Okay, I lost my engineer here. That's why this happened. Uh, let's fix it real quick. Safety. This thing. Food. Quay. And that should be it. What did, what did I want to do? I yeah, just wait around a little bit till these get ceramics. Elite housing villas. You need four for this housing go. Okay. And I need to design my housing loop. Terrible. Can I cheat? Can I look at your city? Uh, I think I'll find it. Where is that? Question is, did you screenshot your elite housing? I don't see it. No, I don't think I can see that. The low mountain maps don't have elite housing. It houses 10 people and it's 4x4? Four four? No, it's, it's actually even larger, right? It's like 8x8. Eight that is absolutely insane. Like this is... Mm. Well, okay. Uh, right. It works like that, just get over it. I'm just gonna start building it, I think. So we're gonna need four of them. Build this home and highly desirable area. So first I need to set up my road network. Which is great because I'm gonna totally mess up the placement. Could have one here. And there and then there. Yeah, we could put them around, but I need to get this thing. And we will need to probably give them a loop just to be able to fit more stuff around that. So let's get that. Okay, uh, be fine. It's just as large as elite houses in Caesar. Well, if you think luxury palaces, but luxury palaces actually house like insane amount of people. This house is 10 people. And it's the top patrician. I can get patricians that are as, as big as your uh, standard um, shack here. Just whatever. Uh, I hope this will work. I'm gonna try and place the housing now. Maybe it's desirable enough. This home needs one bale of hemp. So, I need to both, like set up the market in advance and have them just walk around and then build it. 
can extend ground ways to the corners. This for patricians living in tiny rooms in denser conditions than the peasants. Well, I don't know, it just feels totally different in terms of map space. Everything is absolutely insanely humongous in this game. Let's put it that way. Uh, Does it work like that? No. It looks weird, but I also think that I have it actually... I've, I've built it wrong. Because... Eh, give me this. I'll need to set this road to be like this instead. I guess like this. This is gonna be such a pain for me to even think how to build this. So if they want goods, I guess we just want to give them the market in advance. And they do, do want a different kind of marketplace. Where is that? Grand markets? Oh my god! What is this? Well, I'm not gonna be able to fit it anywhere. Apart from on the absolute other side of everything. Hmm. Not gonna go well. Absolutely obscene everything. <laughs> I want to go back to Caesar, please. I, just want... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just every new thing I stumble across just immediately goes like I would like to absolutely flip this table and go away. I cannot. <laughs> yeah, go a little larger. Yeah, I guess everything's big in China. <laughs> I don't know what I'm to do next. I cannot fit it, so I guess back to the drawing board. Get rid of everything. <sighs> to start with the obscene marketplace. And we are gonna need uh in the road more says I mean if you aren't having fun you can stop uh not really you cannot stop not about fun uh how do you even cover it how large is it again it's like how many tiles so that's one two three or five, so it's one in the center, and then from there you go. Because I'll keep it like this. Actually, I need to stretch the road. I also don't have money, so that's pretty bad. I should probably take a look at the uh, map. So, other cities, they don't like us. They would uh, buy our ceramics if we had surplus. These guys will actually also buy ceramics, and they would buy more silk. So that's probably actually needed before we think about the uh, leads. Six by seven. You must send a gift to appease the ancestor god. Long yeah. Uh, otherwise, I get deleted. Blanks this <laughs> Yeah, something like that. It's a long play. I've not been the one who requested it, but it has passed the vote, people have decided, and now I have to suffer. This is a punishment long play. 
apparently. First one of its kind and probably the last. Where is that? A religion? Just give him something. I don't want to give him ceramics. Just take something and go away. I'm gonna need to expand the industry. It looks like this is not enough ceramics, even though it should be in time. But the silk is actually concerning since even this is not enough to produce and enough to fill the quota. Looks like it requires an uh, insane amount of farmland. I guess we are gonna set up. Uh, no, 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 no. Not a hemp farm. Uh, orchard? Yeah. I'm gonna have to set it up somewhere over here. Eh. Uh, like to keep a road by the block, I guess. Two, three, four. This one tile per side. This is definitely not optimal. Do it like this. Not hemp uh, orchard. Yeah, mulberry trees. You just give him something like that. Give it time, it's mostly because you want such slow speed. Yeah, yeah. Start selling ceramics. Even if we have a little bit. How is the population looking like? Oh, we have plenty of unemployed right now. But my guess would be that we don't actually want that many uh, industries because I don't really want to build another, not blood block, but I guess peasant block. I don't think. You know, yeah, actually, I think I'm lacking wheat now. Yeah, that's not good. They will fix it. I just sent it as a gift, I think. You might want to get traded with more cities. Then we will definitely need another club block then. Which I struggle to see how am I gonna fit. Anywhere. It's absolutely humongous. I guess it wouldn't be that much trouble to add some extra clay and pottery. So kilns would be here. Wrong Feng Shui, yours. And cut this off. Everything is wrong Feng Shui. But here it's not. Okay. But it's also gonna burn to the ground, so. Let's not do that. Uh, just place it there. Remember, no need to worry about commoners evolving into elites. I mean, yes, it's not like you need to set up the cottages and then evolve them, right? They also are leaving. They ran out of hemp. Yeah, and it's. I think it's because the flood killed it before, but I'm not sure. Just give it time, I guess. It will stabilize. Or at least it should. Yeah. Hopefully it's gonna fix us up. And we do have 1200. How much does the insane marketplace cost? Just 90. 
grounds. This. I still, when I see it, I just still think it's absolutely massive. So where do we build it? Yes. I just spend a bunch of money on a festival, I think. It's not good. I guess you'll just build it here. And it wants to get stuff, otherwise it, it's gonna get burned to the ground. Let's just connect that up. Is this a road tile? Yeah, I just made a hideous, hideous thing. Made a monster. Let's just connect it like that. And we are gonna get... Where is that safety? This thing. I guess it can be here. And for the actual block, we are gonna need to build them a residential wall. It's gonna be for... What square? I think this one. And then... Try to get this to be as large as possible, or even though yeah, I need to build it like this instead. I mean, this should be fine, I think. However, it might be... I'm not sure if the guy is gonna cover it. He probably should. Build the ground way. I don't think we should build it on corners, but maybe yes. Feels feel so wrong. Yeah, I, even if I look at this road, it just screams that I've done something terribly wrong. But I guess I didn't. Needs. Thanks. Okay. Get drops in here. It's gonna be a drop. Probably enable people going through here. And should probably get a. Uh, no. I'm so confused about everything. Uh, ham? And then ceramics, and then elks. I guess definitely gonna require a whole bunch of stuff. I don't think we currently have. Yeah, right. So we have the ceramics. We should probably get some silk in here as well, but. It doesn't look like we just have we just don't have enough. So I guess we'll build another farm. Or another an orchard. I'm gonna have to just destroy the natural habitat of these. And there is um stuff here. You have to go. Yeah, no problem Dennis. Thanks for tuning in. I definitely appreciate the help. One, two, okay. I'm gonna have to keep it on the edge. Here. Yeah. Gonna bring the road around like this. Mulberry trees, they are not gonna be great on the terrain here, but hopefully it's gonna work. We'll also build ourselves an artisan for it. So a single beaver here could probably help. Yeah, uh, if I have any questions, I'll definitely ping you there. I could actually, if can you, if you have a, uh, if you have a little bit of time, could you uh, send me the mod on Discord? 
how to modify the game so that the guards do not get best all the time. I think I would have to get that if I was to really try and play the campaign after this. Okay, so we are gonna speed up the time a little bit, I think. Yeah, I want to probably take a look at the housing if it can be placed now. It needs one bale of hemp. Well, I don't have hemp stuck piled up, I don't think. So we might actually need a farm for it, even though I really don't want to. I guess you could have one here, wouldn't be too terrible. It's not gonna be very efficient, but it's gonna work. Good game of Gog, yeah. Is the file carrier sent to you? Okay, Bob's building weaver. Here. Okay, for some reason now this guy doesn't make it here, even though previously he did. So I guess we are gonna just replace the weaver. The weaver can go over here. Uh, we got massive devolutions because we didn't have any hemp again. I guess one farm just isn't enough. You've sent it to me? Okay, thanks Kerry. People, we need a whole bunch of workers. Yeah, because the hemp. Direct my city again. I, need, I guess I'm doing something wrong with the hemp. I just need a whole bunch more of it, I guess. Or I don't know. Might be the case. City might die. No, no, it evolved at least a little bit. Maybe now it will stall it. Yeah, do it. Why not? Money is fine now, but we just cannot get enough ham. I guess I I should just go and disable some stuff. Industry status. I guess we could disable ceramics clay silk. Maybe now it will actually... Oh, now we have unemployed people, right? So, let it enable... They're all silk, at least. When we evolve them, we will add the workers again. We can increase the pages uh, to have more workers. Yeah, I guess we could do that, right? Yeah. Now some hemp has finally made it there. But we still don't have a steady supply and this looks like they managed to get out of the year's harvest. Another year, okay. I'm, I'm afraid that it's gonna run out again and it's gonna devolve. But I guess we are gonna just rekindle it and hope for the best. Does it actually work like that? When you increase the wages, it will increase the percentage of the population that works. I guess it might be the case, right? It's really strange. Yeah, okay. We are already paying quite a bit. But it's per year, so we should be able to recover that. I think. We should solve our problems. They would need an access to an acrobat. I guess we could give them that. But I don't know what they would want next. 
would be something terrible. And where do we even build our acrobat? I don't think we have a very good place for him, maybe here. And they want acupuncturist. That would be in if they no. I, I guess we didn't have access to that just yet. At least I don't think so. The effect is instant, so you can set the set it to go between the options. Alright. So what do we do next? We have money. Just need to finally get this done. Do we have any stockpiled uh hemp? I don't think so. This that house for it is here, right? Yeah. Okay now we have some, so let's try to place the housing. Okay, how many will we need again? Four. I guess we are just gonna build it in the wrong feng, feng shui. Yeah. Uh, it also needs to be in a highly desirable area. But it's pretty bad for me. I guess I could... How large is it? Like four squares? We could build it. One, two, three, four. A lot of gardens maybe to buff up the desirability. Highly desirable area. It is highly desirable, right? Okay. So we do have that now. We have a wand. So if they we are gonna want a well. I'm gonna build one somewhere. I guess it can be over here. Inspector's tower. Place it there. Herbalist. They are gonna probably want a whole bunch of stuff. Just don't know what exactly yet. Modest, we need them to live in. Lavish. Oh, that sounds like it's gonna be quite the way up. So, lucky where? Yeah, they will want silk, I think. Music. Where is the music school? Get it. Now we are struggling from workers. Could I get? An extra house in here. It's not gonna be good. Too far from the road as well, okay. Is this the same with this house? I guess it will be, so let's remove this thing. And here could we get another house? I don't think so. Would have to not have this. But could try to get it like this. Could give us some more workers, maybe. What about this place? many festivals. Yeah, hopefully they are gonna evolve pretty soon. Perhaps building a viewer here. Uh, fine, I guess I'm gonna give them another s s 
safety thing. It's so clunky. But the inspector is probably too far. Where is it? I have to do it. I think. This one has too much on his plate. So let's just cut his route off like that. And we could even fit another artisan here, but we don't have that much raw silk anyway, so probably not worth it. Put a gate across the road. I would have to uh, configure it probably right. I mean, we could do it. Just I didn't want to do it since I have a roadblock there. So I don't think we need to configure it at all. And the extra housing should give us some extra pop. Yeah, we are only lacking few workers. What they what do they want? Ancestor shrine, yeah. I didn't build that. So let's go ahead and place one. And then see what else they want. Give them the access. They want silk. Uh, it's gonna be a problem. I really do not overproduce overproduce silk. It might be a little rough for me to get it. It require a lot of stuff. I guess we could uh, set this to get some silk. Silk, silk, silk. Get. And we are already getting up to 24. So it would be 8. But we are just not producing enough. Which I mean we could... Uh, to do something terrible like commerce and stockpile it so that it's brought over here but it's a very short-term solution I think so eventually we will want to flip that on again for now this is working though not too bad So, are they gonna get silk? Yeah, there is some silk there. They should be able to get that, right? Do you have it? No. They need to bring it. Is this a silk? No. Stockpiled, right. So, if we switch it on again, it will be fine, right? And we should have some ready over here. Yeah. I'm just thinking that maybe you should have like more bad houses just for the space of it. Feels that a little low. At least we did get stockpiles of raw worms, I guess, for the silk. How's the workforce looking? A lot of unemployed people actually. Good. Probably add draft. Uh Ancestors has cursed us. Again. Okay. I just forgot I It's because of the god of farming. I don't want to give him anything, he's mean. I'll give him some ceramics, I guess. So, do these guys finally evolve? Yes, lavish. Extra room for five. Once they move in, we should be fine. What about this guy? Appeal of the neighborhood. Okay. You'll get your own garden. Come on, let me then. Extra room? Yeah. 
Cursed. Yeah, I'm absolutely cursed. And it's not like this for this entire game, unfortunately. I really didn't expect it to be so tough for me. But maybe it's gonna get better in time, you know? Like, when the first torture session happens, you are all... Like, it's all new to you, but then... Then the torture comes again and again. Eventually, it's not as bad to receive the not so horrible tortures. So I guess eventually I'm just just gonna have to accept that. And once it's over, maybe you can actually play something good. But that's not happening yet. Let's listen to the instructions on the next mission. I think. Minimum colors are nice. Yes, I can agree with that. Now is the time to prepare, as it will be too late to sharpen your sword when the battle is upon you. Copper ore can be smelted into fine blades by weaponsmiths. An administrative city will be necessary to oversee the military and revenue collection. Arm and train a stalwart troop of soldiers to protect the city and its people. To partially offset the cost of raising this force, taxes should be levied. Loggers can provide wooden ledgers needed by the tax collectors for their record keeping. Now might be the perfect time for generous offerings to the great hero Huang Di. Perhaps Not another god. Of the fabled Yellow Emperor will aid your city in its time of need. Not another god. <laughs> Okay, we are stuck with the same city, I think. They have bureaucrats, so we need to build this insanely silly large thing. Collect taxes. And it, it should fit snugly along the road, near the bottom loop of your common housing block. As shown below, as shown below. I doubt that would fit anywhere, ever. Rotate it. Another way for immigrants we would need. We already have this. This would need upper culture. The, the guy that sticks needles into Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lumberjacks. Okay. Fixing. So the administrative center is one thing, but then you need actual tax collection. Tax office, All right. Tax right. Billings. Okay. You can see the ore. We already saw it before. So you would need to build smelter but also mines right yeah and then manufacture or just train units borders that's the new god it's fine but we are gonna do it next time I think this was quite enough of Emperor for me for today. We are gonna drop a save game here. And let me take a look if there is anybody else who get raid. The guy that sticks needles into you, you mean the state torturer? No, I mean the apacuncturist. I cannot even pronounce that correctly, I don't think. 
but it's apparently a medical procedure. Very <laughs> well to you too, super cheese. Thanks for being here for me. I needed some company because this truly wasn't uh, great, but it can al always be worse. There are far worse games than this, so should be grateful. Now let's take a look. There's fish lips with slip ways. Dark Young with Hollow Knight, which is a platformer, I think. Snowball with some Marim World. Or Alcoro with Europa Universalis 2. Yes, you. You guys. I'm gonna send you off to Alcoro, I think. 